Welcome back to the show and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, in this group chat I'm in, there's a running joke slash serious argument going on and it's about the greatest raven and it's really two names that we go back and forth with. It's uh, Ed Reed and, and Ray Lewis, uh, both Miami guys, which you guys know I love. Um, so I'm really going to kind of give you the argument for each side. And I want to hear you guys' opinion in the comments about, you know, who you think is the greatest Raven and why. So we'll start with, with Ray. I just, I'm going to read off his resume. Obviously, Hall of Fame, 12-time Pro Bowler, 7-time All-Pro. Two-time Super Bowl champion, which, you know, Baltimore only has two Super Bowls. You know, anyway, he was a part of both. Um, Super Bowl MVP, a Hall of Fame for the All-2000s team, a two-time AP Defensive Player of the Year, and a two-time, uh, I think it's Pro Football with the W, I forget what that is, Defensive Player of the Year. And, you know, and those that those numbers speak for himself as being a great player. But now let's talk about the impact he had with the Ravens. Um, leading leading those defenses to where, you know, especially early in the 2000s when you really, we really only had to score like a touchdown and a field goal to beat people. Maybe three field goals and a touchdown, like 16 points, and the other team wasn't getting more than 10. He was the leader of all that, the catalyst. Uh, a ton of big plays, the hit on um, – the Danian Thomas and the, the the interception of Eddie George, um, a ton of a ton of plays he made that are iconic in Baltimore's history, and you know there's a lot of people hard pressed and probably gonna come at you know this argument for Ray and legitimate have a reason they legit they legit have a real reason to say Ray Lewis is by far the best Raven of all time, but then there's people on the Ed Reed side. Now let's get into the Ed Reed part of it. All right, now let's run the numbers for Ed Reed or the accolades for Ed Reed. He's a Hall of Fame also, nine-time Pro Bowler, five-time All-Pro, one-time Super Bowl champ. He was not on the team when we won the first Super Bowl. Uh, All-2000s Hall of Fame team, uh, AP Defensive Rookie of the Year in 2004, and 2004 uh, Defensive Rookie of the Year by the W, I'm sorry, the PFWA. I can't remember what that is. Um Unlike Ray, he didn't play his whole career in in um, Baltimore. Played a year with the Jets and and maybe split maybe split time with the Jets and the Texans that year, but definitely didn't play his whole career with the Ravens. But that don't matter. That that year, forget that. Ed Reed, in terms of what he did for the Ravens, and you know some of this stuff is going to be. Difficult to explain, but he didn't play as long as Ray. Probably was not the vocal leader as Ray. You know, took a back seat to Ray, but definitely had his moments where he stepped up and was the guy vocally. Um, and I'm going to lead you to my my choice right here. My, I'm going to go ahead and tell you my choice is, is Ray. And I'm going to tell you why. I know a lot of y'all going to pummel me up for it, but I'm going to tell you why I think... Ed Reed is, is my choice. So did he play as long as Ray? No. Did he have the the impact on the franchise as Ray? No. And that's and and it, I say impact on the franchise because some stuff Ray did off the field kind of helped his you know status wise and make him you know be a larger than I ain't gonna say larger than life nobody larger than life but a bigger Ravens public figure so to speak. Um, but just let's just think about what the comparison of what Ed can do and what Ray can do. All right, Ray was a great linebacker by by all means, probably one of the greatest ever. But and this is my thinking, not these aren't no stats that I find out. Does is Ray as great as he is without playing behind Goose, without playing behind uh, Nada? Without playing behind some of these other great nose tackles that that I probably f I'm going to forget to mention, you know those guys take up 
two blocks because you, you got a double team goose because of the size. You got a double team nada because of size athleticism. Um, it's somebody else in there that I, there's a couple of people in there that I can't remember their names that, you know, helped Ray be who he was. Not to say that if it wasn't for them, Ray wouldn't be great. I'm not trying to say that. I'm just adding to the pot. Uh, now, let's take my opinion on um, Ed Reed. Ed Reed played probably the greatest safety of all time, probably, potentially. And Ray's probably maybe the greatest linebacker of all time, potentially. Um, Ed Reed, your center fielder, your middle of the field safety, can play from numbers to numbers. Um, can be in the box and play strong safety if need be. Get sacks. Uh, you, there's a couple players out there where I know one in particular where he got a, a sack fumble, then picked it up and returned it for a touchdown. Um, you know, communication with the defense and and Ray do that too, and you know, so they kind of go hand in hand with both of them because both of them had an impact on on the other. Um, but here's where the it, it gets a little different for me. Why I, I go with Ray? I mean, why I go with Ed? If Ed gets his hands on the ball. There's a poten- potential for a score, whether it be on an interception. You don't forget, you know, when it was crunch time, who went and returned kicks before Jacoby got on the team? Ed. Ed, punt returns, kickoff returns, interception returns. I think he got 109 interception return and 108 interception return for a touchdown. Like any ball in the air, there was a potential, potential, for Ed to get his hands on it. And if he get his hands on it, there's a potential for it to score also. For him to score also. And and so this one line is going to define why I think Ed's a better Raven than Ray. The ability to do more and impact the game. Ray did a lot. I ain't taking none from Ray. I'm not saying Ray. Sorry. Don't please don't come at me. I just think Ed did more in his time with Baltimore as far as his versatility on the on the field. Now, some people are probably going to say, is Ed Reed, Ed Reed, is Ray not on the team? Potentially. Potentially. Because, you know, all the pressure they was putting up, like them same guys I named off that helped uh, Ray, probably help Ed. If, you know, getting pass rush and, you know, the Ed, I think the edge guys help Ed more. I think Suggs and them help Ed more because they get pass, pass rush and guys got to get rid of the ball. but and, and you can go back and forth. But it's, it's a great argument to have. And there's no real hatred if you pick Ed. I mean, if you pick Ed. And there's no hatred if you pick Ray. I just really want to put my two cents out there and let you guys know what we talked about in our group chat. Which is a, 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 a vast difference of guys that have great opinions. And, and, you know, formulate them opinions very well. So, shout out to that group chat. And, um. Really just put your your reason, your person in the comment section and your reason why in the comment section. And um, let's just continue the debate here, you know, on YouTube. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. There's something different. Uh, I enjoyed this. I may end up, you know, incorporating some more stuff like this in the in the future. Um, but back to the draft stuff, man. Peace.